Hey, I'm Denny from uh, Cloudhead Games, and we just wanted to kind of walk you through the, the history of Knuckles as we've seen it so far, and get to an unboxing of the EV2s. So this was the, the first iteration of the Knuckles, and we did a short demo for these um, in, when was it, Anthony, 2016? 2016. Um, yeah, so these, you know, they were quite small at that time, um, and they still hadn't quite figured out how to do the straps. So they, they had this pretty crazy mechanism on there where you would Put this around and then I can't even do it right now. I think I've got it backwards. Anyways, you would, yeah, would Velcro on like that and you know, it was on there very solidly, but obviously that wasn't a great um, kind of consumer ease of ease of use case. Um, and the size was really, really tiny at that time. Um, you know, it just kind of barely cradled into your palm, which actually feels pretty good, but it's it's a very diminutive size. And then they went to the, the next generation, which was a year later about about six or seven months yeah yeah okay and at this time they had started implementing um the um the pull, the pull cord um uh, brace for your hand which which was a really great innovation but what was apparent here was um there wasn't enough flexibility in in the actual strap it was a bit uncomfortable over time uh and getting your hand in the right position Depending on how big your hand was, if it was too big or too small, your, your hand wouldn't kind of settle on the controller um, in, in the right way to use the cap sense that was built in. So then we got up to the, the prior version of the EV2s, which um, we got uh, not too long ago. Um, and that's a 3D printed version, but as you can see, the tracking bar is, is much bigger, um, which lends to a lot of um, tr tracking stability. But you can see a major design change um, in terms of buttons and also, the length of the actual um, controller itself um, has extended. So if you go all the way back to version one, that's that's a significant um, gain in length, and that's because of variable hand size. So you guys have probably seen a lot of these unboxes already, but we'll talk our way through it. It's a really nice little informational thing there. Some lovely um, USB-C cables that are braided. That's awesome. And these out. These are the really nice machined versions. Um, so yeah, some really cool things to call out here. What they did with the strap was really smart. They've got this adjustable bar here, so you can kind of pivot the strap. Um, hard to show it on camera while I do this. So it kind of moves forward and back, and that's to get kind of ideal hand placement on the cap sense, and based on how big your hand is, um, that positioning helps a, a great deal. And there's also a pivot here um, that that kind of works based on your hand size and for comfort. And they also did a really nice um, material change from, from this version to the prior, which was just kind of a, you know, a, a flat padding. Um, this uh, feels much more comfortable over long periods of use. And when your hand gets sweaty or whatever, you don't really recognize it. It's a really nice fabric. Uh, and yeah, so they've got <clears throat> a really nice change here with um, button placements, they went back and forth a lot on, you know, whether to use a trackpad or to do this kind of pill design. Um, and I think part of the rationale for this was, you know, most user interactions were like swiping motions rather than using, you know, really utilizing a much bigger pad. So they've kind of distilled it down to a pressure sensitive pill shaped pad. Um, so you can do most of the interactions you would do anyways. It still has left and right and up and down, like you still have that kind of traditional trackpad feel, but it's in a much smaller form factor, which is really cool. Um, and, you know, some some parity, industry parity is what I would call it, with buttons. You know, you've got all your standard buttons and, and sticks, and this is a click stick. There's also some changes, like if you go way back, this is kind of interesting, the way that the, here, I'll go back to the first one. The way that the um, trigger button interfaces with the handle you notice this curve is very slight, whereas in prior versions it was pretty dramatic. And the weird thing about that in VR is you, you really felt that difference, especially when you're looking at your virtual hand, and there was this distance between your outward stretching finger and the, the finger just below it, and what that felt like in VR. Whereas this one's a lot more subtle, so it's more your fingers are in a better kind of parity and positioning than they were before. So that feels a lot more natural when I'm doing that. Um, and obviously the biggest thing to call out about EV2s is how great it is to just let your hands be free. And it really is this thing that you, your brain has to kind of get, come to a place of comfort with where you understand, oh, I can let go of the controller and I can just 
let it hang out and I don't have to worry about it. And my hands and my fingers are tracking um, in a very natural way. So I feel less like I'm rubbing my stomach and patting my head and more like, oh, if I want to point, I just point or a peace sign or, you know, whatever gesture I'm doing, I don't have to think about it. It's not, there's no layer of, of, of abstraction there. Um, and that's about it for EV2s, I think. Um, other than stuff you've probably already seen, um, we're going to try to showcase some more stuff that we're doing with EV2s um, in future videos. And yeah, that's me. See you later.